Hey guys, we're doing another Fleetwood Mac song today from the Rumors album, the hit album, uh, Rumors, uh, 1977. It's been 45 years. Oh my gosh. Um, I guess I was just four years old when it came out, but, <laughs> um, you know, I, I still listen to it today as if it's current music. So love it. Um, and we're doing all the songs on the whole album, all 11 tracks, all great songs. All of them I teach on webpianoteacher.com. That's my website. And today we're doing uh, Gold Dust Woman. And I'm using uh, my Kawaii MP11 SE and using one of the bank sounds here where they kind of combine one of these uh, or some of the uh, cool uh, foundation sounds I have here on the, over on the left. And let's do a little bit. Spooky sounding right, and then da da, gold dust woman, da 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 da. And there we are. That's what we're going to work on in our part one lesson today on YouTube. So, hello, I'm Sean Cheek of WebPianoTeacher.com. Welcome to our new set. I am getting used to the camera switching and the, everything uh, new here. It's it's pretty cool. Everything at my fingertips and. Um, it's kind of cool to switch cameras while I'm just sitting here and everything's set up and I don't have to adjust levels and all that. It's just because I'm, you know, uh, I'm musical and I can do techie stuff, but I just don't like to. It's not, no fun for me. Somebody, some people really get into that side of it. Um, I just love when stuff works, you know. So anyway, um, I teach piano in a different way. Um, I don't use music notation. Though that is a great skill to have to read music, but some for some people it's a roadblock, and it just keeps them from playing all the music they want to play, just because it you know it doesn't work for them. So I teach a different way, um, and I developed it about I don't know 20, two, 20 or thirty years ago uh, to help the students that I had who were really talented and wanted to play their favorite songs, uh, but they didn't want to go the classical route. It was just really have a turn off to them. So uh, here we are. We're going to do this part one here. So let's take a look at the board. And there's the whiteboard I was talking about. I used to use an old whiteboard with markers. And you, if you look at my old videos, you can see that. And so glad to have the technological side of this here piece of this so I can put it all up there easily. Um, anyway, as a member, you can download my sheet. This is just a zoomed in version. You can zoom out and print it out. Um, you have that option if you're a member of the site. Anyway, so I like this cool sound. And it's not, you know, it doesn't, it's not meant to sound like um, the album cut, uh, but it, you know, it gives that sort of that feeling of it, you know, so uh, that's the bank sound I'm using. I can't even see what bank sound it is, but it's one of the many choices that Kawhi gives you here. Um, I'm going to switch off of that and go to straight piano because I know a lot of you are just piano players. And I know that I am because... Even when I play around with a cool sound, I'm always refreshed to go back to the piano sound. And this uh, Kawaii is the best, man, at making a, a, an awesome sampled piano sound. I want you to listen to something. If you got headphones on, you can hear this. But you have to put headphones on, probably. I'm going to press all the keys down silently. Then I'm going to lift. Are you listening? Here we go. Did you hear that? You heard the hammers go up. Now, if somebody puts that much detail <laughs> into their sampling, um, you just got to know it's the best there, out there. Anyway, so we start here in D minor, and we have, you know, guitar and bass. We have that doom, 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 doom going on all the time, you know, that thump, thump. And so we're going to do that with our pinky. So I try to, you know, there's no piano in this. Uh, but I do try to capture all of the instruments on the piano, and this this song does pretty good at that. D A D five two one. I'm gonna hold the top two, the A and the D there. I'm gonna hold that, and and then I'm gonna play as I play that last D. I'm gonna play B flat and D with the right hand. So one two, one. Okay, so one one. So you see I go left, right, left, left, right, left. And if I had to write a little more, I'd maybe put a D right there. Just one more D. 
you hear the bass guitar go da da dum. So I'm gonna do that right here, A C. A lot of times I won't won't put everything the bass guitar is doing because it'll get muddy. Uh, but there I think that one's okay. So one and two. The next measure. So it's the same thing. Um, that little F up there is for later because later you hear a little more on the chord you hear. Now listen that I'm not pedaling everything because, um, you know, pedal is great and pedal helps us in a lot of ways as piano and keyboard players, but it can really mess up a lot of our our work that we're doing. So make sure you learn something without pedal and then add it as an extra, not as the main thing. Because if you have to take away after you've already put it in, it's a lot more difficult. Trust me. <laughs> so those spaces are really important. And if you hold the pedal down, we're going to miss those spaces. Okay, back to the board and we can hear. Okay, and by the way, that's a D minor. That's a one. And it's, it's not really a full D minor. I'm calling it D minor because it, that's how we hear it in our ear. Um, there's no F, so I can't really say. But our ear doesn't hear that, does it? Open fifths always sound minorish to me. So, you know, the F's not in there. So I can't, you know, say, oh, it's definitely a D minor because there's no F. But we hear it as, as minor, don't we? Um, so it's a D5. And then this one is a B flat chord, which is a six chord. One, two, three, four, five, six. So B flat is six. Okay. There we go. So there is our part one for YouTube. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. If you want to learn the rest of it, I teach you just like this on webpianoteacher.com. I have thousands and thousands. I'm, I'm approaching like 8,000 lessons now on the website and I'm, I feel like the next few years are going to be the most productive in my life as far as uh, doing lessons. That's how I feel anyway. So uh, happy you guys are here and uh, hope to see you around. Talk to you later.